This is why I say there's no such thing as a two-way player in the NBA, especially not at guard or forward. Who has Kawhi shut down on a consistent basis? I'll wait. <laughs> when has this ever mm -hmm. happened? It's imaginary. It's a figment of you guys' imaginations. It's no way in hell you take a Kawhi over James Harden, over Damian Lillard, over Luka Doncic as a talent, over Jokic, the MVP. No. Why y'all tripping like prime heroes? MVP here was just this glorified mouth. This shit was regular, to be honest. It was really regular. Andrew Wiggins is better than Clay Thompson. All Clay Thompson does is shoot threes. Andrew Wiggins is a better playmaker than Clay Thompson. Kawhi's not a top 10 player in the league, and that's not a hot take. I'm serious. Kawhi's not top 10. Yo, what are you guys' favorite foods? Like, I never asked you that. Mine's is mac and cheese. And it's not even That's close. That's mine also. As soon as you said that, I'm like, I can't wait to say mac and cheese. <laughs> I I love trying every single mac and cheese that exists on earth, but I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, that's tough. But you know, I, so I like mac and cheese even the next day when you hit over the microwave, throw mm -hmm. some hot sauce. It's just a uh -huh. great dish. Mm -hmm. um, some crap macaroni and cheese or just like, All like homemade? That's a... Anyone. Velveeta? Velveeta's my favorite. Uh, Home, homemade, if possible, is easily Homemade is good, but that can easily be butchered. <laughs> Depends yeah. on who the chef is. Like, my chef yeah, in Greece, nice. that's the first thing I ordered from her, and everything else was amazing. I said, I'm never ordering mac and cheese. She calls it her world-famous mac and cheese. <laughs> she names everything on her menu, world-famous mac and cheese. Listen here, lady. <laughs> it's a bad vibe. That's a bad Y'all don't rock with sushi? I love sushi. I love no. sushi. Yeah. That's me. Oh, Del, do you like fish at all? Yeah, just uh, salmon. Nice. Yo, what's, like what's good? What's good, Lenny? All right. Um, we got Lenny on the comments. Um, can we talk about TikToksic for a second? TikToksic <laughs> is elite. Cooked. That is so elite. <laughs> like, wow. Like, Did you just make that up right now? I mean, I thought of, I thought about it this morning because you know I've been I've had a rough to listen, listen, Dale, Jay, JB, the whole gang. I hate viral days on TikTok with a passion. Mm. It hasn't been my Why? turn <laughs> in a long time, but this one. Oh man, Jay knows. I'm calling Jay like midlife crisis. Oh, oh my God, Cruz, <laughs> Cruz! Should, Hello, got, Cruz. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Cruz been playing oh, well. Yeah. Congratulations! Yeah. Sorry, I almost spilled the beans. She's coming I in here hijacking the show in mid soliloquy. Yeah, for right. guys, for you guys How? that listen, and Cruz just showed off the ring. And happy birthday, Cruz, as well. Happy she birthday! Happy birthday! She happy said so, birthday, so, Cruz. so, so, uh, what did you tell Cruz about Jay's? Oh, I showed her. She, so I told her about it. And she goes, can we watch it? I was like, absolutely. So we're watching it. And she like we watched the whole bit and Dell immediately starts <laughs> like going, wow, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And she goes, oh, tell Dell, thank you for uh, protecting my. I don't know uh, what I was thinking. That you was, that was so pretty funny. bold. It was so funny. It was. Jordan, didn't you like I look around? Manny doesn't even <laughs> watch anymore. So I'm like, eh, maybe Cruz did. <laughs> yeah. They don't watch anymore. Or, yeah, they, I wouldn't. I would. I would stop watching as well. I would catch a few episodes here and there. I would tune in. Mel from, <laughs> Melissa, tune in for sure. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'll, I'll, I'll catch every episode. A few Not every, but she tune. She's no. She's in tune with whatever goes on with it. Not to be honest. Lenny, like, she knows. L Lenny D, tell him Lou. Um, Ma Ma Malik Falcon, nineteen forty-two. Thank you all, you guys, um, for tuning in. Um, yo, can I just say one thing about? Shout out to Shy Town 32 and OG the Beast. Um, not only have they stepped up to the plate and become very active on our TikToks, they made me go viral twice. At least um, Shy Town 32 did. Um, but he just reposted our, our um, TikTok from this morning, and it's already at 17K in 50 minutes. But I don't know when I came such a TikTok dot. <laughs> I still have yet to go on that app in my entirety of yo, living. Yo, listen, Del, so how did just, you see it though, bro? Did the I'm group chat? I'm gonna give you a rundown. I see it whenever y'all show it to me on the group chat. Two days ago, we're at 86k on our own page. 
almost 2,000 comments. There are women in there even saying WTF to me. (laughs) There's there's women in there. (laughs) Light you up. What is going the on? Kawhi, the Kawhi was bold. The Kawhi was very bold. No, 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 Dale. Understand. I didn't know there were this many Kawhi Leonard fans ever in my life. I did not. I don't get it. I won't lie. I didn't know that there were that many Kawhi fans either. No, that's not what. To me, it's everybody in my circle. When I post it, they like maybe a couple was like, "Nah, he probably top ten. But a lot of people was like. This is interesting. Not no one in my circle just smash Shaq like OD. Well, that's like, what's crazy. That's what's crazy is when you look at the comments, it's overwhelmingly negative. And they think that they thought of all the clips that we've posted, they thought that that was the one that was the clickbait. Yeah, so that's you know, the one that's the clickbait. I hope mm. your check went through. I hope you guys are getting paid for this. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, we've wow. made some pennies well, from subscriptions. To many people that he's top five, and it's and that's always been all right. Disclaimer: Shaq and his crew, they put put me in a group chat like a year and a half, two years ago, called the In Crowd, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? So this was the group chat. It was him, some guys I don't know, Ron, another guy named Star with a J, uh-huh. Dave, uh-huh. all these guys <laughs> just soliloquying. And out of all them lips, Kawhi was definitely a top three player for them. I'm like, how? Yo, <laughs> like, this is me back mm-hmm. then. I'm like, how? Shaq was the leader. Mm-hmm. Shaq mm-hmm. was on the Kawhi bandwagon. Mm-hmm. So now, whenever Kai, uh, Shaq is just doing all this now, I'm just sitting back. I'm like, <laughs> what happened? I so he switched be, up? I used to like, be a Kawhi guy, but I can't be a Kawhi guy and a LeBron guy because now I'm a LeBron da- guy and a KD guy. So I can't be all three guys. I, Wait, I, that's when, new. A KD guy? KD. When did that happen? That was really, I'm telling you, when we were in Vegas and KD was having that <laughs> hell of a game and KD was like, it's really, I mean, uh, Dale looked at me and whispered like, it's really unbelievable. And I was like, this is amazing <laughs> basketball. <laughs> Like Katie's out the uh, LeBron's out the door. I can throw Katie. I can start throwing Katie some love. But the way the reaction was for Kawhi, you would think I said Kevin Durant wasn't top ten. That in the no comments doubt. was so crazy no, that, to me. That would be no, but it's reverse. And I didn't think it was so far fetched when you said your list and you're naming. We're gonna talk about the list later of naming the, of the top five. Mm-hmm. But when you're naming the five, and I'm like. I would pick him over Kawhi. I would pick him over. And it was that it, it got down to like eight or nine. That's when I myself started like, damn, I throw Kawhi in there now. I actually and it was made, crazy. I actually made my list yesterday watching uh game one of the finals because I was like, where would I put him actually? So I started putting my list together. You I don't want to hear it. Yo, yeah, I do want to hear it. I would love to hear but it. But it's amazing the names that they actually pulled out of those ten. That they were putting up against Kawhi. I'm telling you, would think the guy won 15 straight championships. I'm not lying. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what makes them pick me. Uh, uh, tell them Lou, Lenny, the whole gang. I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm I'm about to butcher Kawhi Leonard in a few moments here, but I'm gonna let Jordan get off his top ten. All right, let's get it. I got Curry, LeBron, KD, Luca, James Harden. Kawhi at six, AD seven, Giannis, Embiid, Lillard. This is funny. The, 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 the funniest part of this, and I'm about to get into my soliloquy, it's no way in the hell of life you can put an Anthony Davis under Kawhi. That is really my biggest takeaway. You say Kawhi's a two-way player. Anthony Davis might be the greatest two-way player of all the time. Anthony Davis might be the greatest two-way player of all time, and I'm not even kidding. Go look at the statistics on both offense and defense at high levels. It's incredible. Kawhi, there's no no, such thing as a two-way player. There's no such thing as a two-way player. But if I have to call you a two-way player, something's lacking on both sides. Like, Like Kawhi, offensively, you're not better than any of those guys in the top 10. These are facts. Defensively, the sham that everybody has made up that you're this top 10 NBA player, what is it based off of? There's this thing called shrink defense that you played in San Antonio. 
You know, where everybody just closes the lanes and you're just on ball shading a player one way or another. When did you come this defensive beast? I really don't know. I'm confused. Come on, Jay. You got something to say? Fill me in. Nope. I'm, I'm just a casual. I mean, I mean, for sure. But I mean, you can still. I, I am too. I am too. I am too. TikTok lost their mind. L's. This is why you guys' podcast don't get any views. Yo, and by the way, if you're still watching at this point in the podcast, thank you for being a loyal fan and not listening to brainwashed casuals that listen to Charles Barkley on Inside the NBA after every game and every breakdown. And that's where you – who are the experts? All of the experts say this. Who are the experts? I need to know. The only person I can sit here and legit call the expert in this field is Gilbert Arenas, who also said Kawhi is one of the most overrated players. For five minutes, he tells him that. Now, I, I, <clears throat> now, now, and and by the way, all you OG to Beast um, <clears throat> fans, I'm also a fan of OG to Beast, but he also has a video calling Kawhi one of the most overrated players. He said he was easily top ten. That was back in 2017. But we have to get with the times. This isn't 20 teens anymore. It's ridiculous. So Kawhi. <clears throat> A good player in really good systems. Any disagreements here? No. No, no, no disagreements. Kawhi? Yeah, Ka- Kawhi Leonard. I swear to you, he was the fourth best player on that San Antonio, San Antonio Spurs team. He was the oh, fourth facts. best player. What, what about Toronto, though? One moment. That San Antonio championship, Kawhi Leonard was the fourth best player. TikTok in the comments. I swear to God, I thought Timmy, Manu, Tony, and the gang, I thought they all died. I, I swear to you, I thought they, you guys referred to that championship as if uh, finals MVP in that series? What does that mean? He shut down LeBron. That's when he got his defensive stop. LeBron averaged 28 points, 57 from the field, 52 from three. Where is this defensive stopping, Jordan? Please stop me when I'm wrong. J.B. Dale, the, LeBron, yeah, the yeah, most yeah. efficient player in the playoffs that year. How did he get that know. defensive stopper? I don't, know. I don't know if that's Braun final stats, though. <laughs> that's what, ridiculous. What, what, I don't think that's what it is. 28 points, 57 from the field, 52 from three. Kawhi's guarding and, him. And Kawhi and averaged 17, 6, and 2. Go look at it. That's, that's it's nasty. on Al Gore's internet for everybody to see, and you guys just act like Kawhi is just this <laughs> Prince MJ next up. I swear to you in the TikTok, I thought he was the second coming of LeBron James. I was literally watching the comments like there's no way I took this many losses. Everybody, L's everywhere. This guy has no brain. What, this is the worst basketball. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's crazy? What's crazy to me was there were people that were saying he's easily top three. And they're like, there was no question, like easily top three. That doesn't make any sense to me. So so LeBron retired. Kevin Durant died. Steph Curry, just What's because that? he got knocked out of the finals early. No, no, no. Here's the they thing. forgot about him. Like A lot of people think Kawhi is better with take. Like if you go individual player, how, they'll how, take how, Kawhi how over is, Steph. How, how in your life could you ever take a Kawhi Leonard over Steph? Just off pure offense. Steph plays way better offense than Kawhi does defense. These are facts. Right. These are facts. But then and it's, it's also, the media really suit Kawhi up the max element of the world because they have put Kawhi and KD and Kawhi and Braun. And Kawhi, is very, he's a good player. I, and he is in my top 10. But I always, Shaq, you know, I always got upset one day compared him like I always got upset like mm-hmm, they say mm-hmm. Kawhi's better than James Harden and in my mind I'm like ow bro like bro, I really can't I bro can't, it's I can't unbelievable see it. I, I I can't unsee it what they were saying in those comments top left go get a job ah top left get off the pod <laughs> uh, top left <laughs> I hate your bod. It was just nuts in there the whole time. And I'm like, it's no way. And shout out and shout out my homie Kenny Dior. Um, thanks for stopping through. I promise you, and but but to bring it back in to get a dose of reality, there was a lot of people that were also like, This is wild. I don't think Kawhi is like he's not lying. Or yeah, Kawhi is overrated. And I think when I said that Kawhi wasn't top 10, what I really was trying to say is that he's extremely overrated, and I can name top 10 players that I would rather want on my team. 
I, I promise you all 10 players that I picked, I'm starting my franchise with over Kawhi. He's won two championships in really good systems, and you guys act like he's the second coming of, I don't know. I promise you. Kawhi Leonard is what we're so talking about So do you consider here? the Clippers a really listen, good system? Listen, listen. Defensive stopper, 2012. <laughs> my man KD, OKC. He killed Kawhi. 2014. Let's run it back. Yo, I, I promise you, go look at the highlights. Go look at the stats. KD torched Kawhi. Now, 2016, when Kawhi started to get some legs up under him, it was close, but you still got to give the edge to KD. So who is he defensive stopping? Russell Westbrook going crazy. Um, uh, Kevin Durant going crazy. You guys show me right now. I need to see some highlights of how Kawhi has affected the game with his defense. Who is he shut down? This is why I say there's no such thing as a two-way player in the NBA, especially not at guard or forward. Who has Kawhi shut down on a consistent basis? I'll wait. <laughs> when has this ever happened? It's imaginary. It's a figment of you guys' imaginations. It's no way in hell you take a Kawhi over James Harden, over Damian Lillard, over Luka Doncic as a talent, over Jokic, the MVP. No, no, MB, I'm taking, no. I'm I'm taking Kawhi over Joker. And that, but you can, though, but that's preference. When we talk about efficiency, <laughs> efficiency, which you guys love so much, I got some efficiency stats right here. Jokic, you know, this year was number one in the NBA, but th never mind that because all you guys, efficiency, 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 all you guys in the TikTok comments all day long, efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Well, Kawhi happened to be 10th in efficiency, and not only that, he was 10th in steals. He wasn't top 10 in any other statistical category, not points, rebounds, minutes, games, nothing. Coming off the bench, hot dogs at halftime, I don't know, nothing. He wasn't top 10 in anything, not anything. So let's give you a rundown. LeBron, better efficiency. KD, better efficiency. Steph, Jokic, Embiid, Giannis, Westbrook, Doncic, Jimmy Butler, Zion Williamson. Yo, yo, Zion Williamson, the only person, he was tied with Kyrie and Dame. He was tied with Kyrie and Dame. So what is all, where does this all come from? I just have to know. I did, 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 and Jordan, it, it, <laughs> let me, block, stop wasting my time. Not even top 100. I mean, what are we talking about? Turnovers? I don't know. He was like 40th. Where does all this Kawhi love come from? I'm just curious. And don't even get me started on Scottie Pippen in that era because I'm going to save that for Sunday show. I promise you, I didn't want to come here and do this. The list isn't valid mm -hmm. when you mention Western. Russell Westbrook has better stats than Kawhi. It's just not even close. What are we talking about? What Suck are we really talking today. about? Oh, you yeah, guys definitely are, you, had time today. You I guys don't... are acting like this man is the second coming. He's better than Steph. He's top three. No, the fuck he's not. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I don't. Not. I don't know the. I don't understand the overhyping of Kawhi, but I do like he's in my top ten. I'm I'm taking him on most teams for sure. I don't know that if I had a pick of the litter, if I could pick anyone, I'm not building a team around him over yo, a yo, lot of yo. those guys. Tell him, Lou said we know Westbrook on the court isn't more efficient. It literally go to NBA.com and go look at it. Westbrook is more efficient than Kawhi Leonard. This is what I'm talking about. You sit here and you call me a casual. You say this and that. I give all these bad takes. I give you, I bring you back stats that you guys so love that you guys want so badly. I told you guys from the jump, we aren't the stats, the stats podcast. That's not what we do here. That's not. We just shoot the shits like barbershop. You know how we getting down. And then for you guys to come here and then I bring you stats and you still try to say he's not more efficient than Kawhi when he is. James Harden as well. What do you want? What else do you want me to say? I don't think Kawhi is top three, boring. but for me, he is top 10. He can be top 10 for you, but he can also not be top 10 for me, and you guys don't go ape shit about it. And that's the 100%. point of this whole thing. That's the that's, point. And I think that's the craziest part of the whole thing is looking at what people were saying. And the thing was, and we know this, we see these comments all the time. The majority of people don't even give a take. They just say, you're dumb. These guys are idiots. Cancel the podcast. Those are usually the comments. They're all stupid, whatever. It's it's funny. But um, if you're not going to provide a take. Then you're like, you it's, don't it's like, like you really it's, don't. It's, it's nuts. Who are you in the grand scheme of things? Like it's you're nuts. just being annoying to be annoying. You're just it's sad nuts. one day and you just saw something you disagreed with. And instead of saying this is why you just say, well, these guys are idiots. And some guys <laughs> did. good. No, some guys. And I won't and I won't take away because some guys did actually say, 
oh, you know, um, he's really efficient in the playoffs. When Kawhi gets into the playoffs. So those two times, the second time was really good. The first time, no, Kawhi, I'm not giving you that. The second time with the Raptors, I'll give you that. KD went down. You basically beat a Golden State Warriors team. I feel that. Steph was playing. Dre was playing. Clay was playing. I can't take that away from you, Kawhi. But no, bro. You're not. No, I'm not taking you over Jokic, Kawhi. I'm sorry. I'm just not. In no universe. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? I see the Maserati right there, and I'm going to take the... I don't even know. No. It's not comparable. The Charger. Jokic, the Charger. <laughs> Jokic is a better basketball player than you, Kawhi Leonard. James Harden is a better basketball player than you, Kawhi Leonard. Damian Lillard that. is a better basketball player than you, Kawhi Leonard. Luka Doncic is a better basketball player than you, Giannis is way more efficient than you, Kawhi Leonard. So what are we talking about? I don't need to name the top guys. We know what it is. Mm, so they, so the Giannis being more efficient. No, sorry, I hate Jay, when you guys do this. I hate when you guys do this. Kawhi, no, no, no. You guys sat there in the comments. The you guys sat there in the comments and said, Kawhi is this. Kawhi is efficient. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. You guys sat there and said that the entire time. And Dale's back. And I'm still ranting about Kawhi. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. And I bring up Giannis <laughs> and you guys lose your noodles. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> you can't have it both Loses ways. I, I get why you guys so, hate Giannis. Can I, I really ask you do. this question, Shaq? Do you consider Kawhi a basketball player, like a hooper or an athlete? And Giannis, do you consider him a basketball player, a hooper, or just an athlete? That's really athletic and good at what he does. Can I don't he, think that there's anyone in the NBA who's just pure athleticism who can't hoop. Dar Darvin Ham. Like, you got some, no, you got some people that were just like journeymen out there. Ben Wallace, like, was he really a hooper? Hooper. Here is I'm not. I'm not. Kawhi's an amazing player. He he's an he's an he's an he's an amazing player. And Dale, you're muted, by the way. Um, Giannis is a is an amazing player. I would never take that away from him ever. But there's so many talented players in the league, and for you guys to literally sit here and die on this, he's a two way player. Hill. Is the biggest crock of shit I ever heard in my life. Guys in the oh, in the crock. comments literally saying, "Oh, he's not. He's you can't pick them over because he plays defense." When has Kawhi played defense? I will wait. When in a system shrink defense with the Spurs and Popovich, it's a thing. Google it. It's a thing. Shrink defense. It's a thing. And we sit here and we just act like Kawhi just m manufactured every team that he was on. Like he didn't almost get Pascal Siakam a max because it, like no. Who has he made better? Siakam's playing out of his mind that whole playoff run. Was it just Kawhi? You got the bet, Kyle Lott. Was it all Kawhi with the Raptors? He's better than DeRozan. Yeah, but, I mean, if you put, I feel like if you put Anthony Davis on that Raptors team, they win as well. I, I, that, that, that's just me. I'm sorry. <laughs> the lucky shot, the lucky shot it, with the Sixers, I can't take that away. It was a hell of a shot. That's why I can't hate on that championship because he literally did everything right. But that's the one time you guys counted as five championships. I swear you do. And I'm and I'm done with this. What's up? Uh, that was fire. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I have nothing to say to Shaq Rant. I'm just here for the rest of the show. Thank, thank you, <laughs> Dale. Thank you because I think you partially agree with it. That's why that that's why you're just sitting back, and I and I appreciate that. I said it. I said when you was naming your list, I I, I got Kawhi like eight or nine, and I take him over Jokic for sure. I take him over Jokic for sure, and that may be it. I, him and Embiid is a toss up, but the rest, Dame, the Steph, the James, KD, Braun, AD. I'm taking them before Kawhi. I am. And, that, and that's fine. What's good? Let's go, Sean. Uh, Kenny Dior said, would the Suns win a championship with Jokic, CP3, and D-Book? He said, I said no because Jokic isn't a good defender. Uh, I don't know. I think hmm. they would. <laughs> I feel like they I would, think, too. I think. I think they would. Because who they, who they getting rid of? Aiden? <laughs> yeah, That's I feel crazy. like you would just swap those two. Because if you had them both on the same team, then that team is disgusting. That's a very good team. Aiden's I like a really... Team. I like Aiden. I like Aiden. Me too. I like Aiden. I like Aiden. What we got uh, next on the docket? <laughs> I, don't want, I, don't want Shaq, I don't want Shaq to rant no more. <laughs> I almost passed out. 
<laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, Kawhi's not happy in LA. He not happy in La La Land. Yeah, I don't know where he is happy at. He never seems happy ever. Well, well Uncle Dennis. <laughs> Uncle Dennis getting paid. Yo, that little Nets thing. That J- so backstory. Um, Jordan sends to the group chat this not Pinterest. Um, what's that? What's that um, place called? Uh, Reddit. Reddit. The Reddit, the Reddit boards of a inside, um, what do you call those people? In a mole that basically said <laughs> James, Katie, and Kyrie getting away with murder in Brooklyn. Yeah, buying girlfriends' crazy. homes, money for girlfriends, cars, <laughs> clothes. And they're I just writing it that. off. That's funny. I didn't see I that. I got the money, money in the car. When did you say that? When did you say that in the chat? I think he sent it, and, and Dale, you were like, what? And I don't think you knew what it was. It was literally just right there. Exactly. If you would have clicked on it, it would have well, because went big. I tried to click a link and nothing came up. So that's why I said, well. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't the full thing. I just saw it on Twitter scrolling through. And it was just the the screenshot of a part of the post. And just from that, I was like, this is wild. Hmm. Right, Yo, listen, I gotta, can we can we talk about can we talk about Rachel Nichols and Jimmy Butler? Wait, and Jimmy Butler or just Rachel Nichols? Yo, you didn't see that where Kat said, go call Rachel Nichols at the free throw line when they're arguing? Nah, that's he crazy. He yells that to him. Clip. It was this season. It wasn't in the bubble, but that means in the bubble. And they said that when he was allegedly dribbling basketballs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sweating in the room. Dribbling basketball. When, they, when he got his noise complaint, they're trying, to, they're trying to say that's because he was in there with Rachel Nichols. Wow. And we're not the podcast to rate Rachel Nichols, but I always yeah, let's not thought highly of Rachel Nichols until Wait, she, early on. I mean, so I still kind of do. She's just nasty. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> What'd you say, Jay? <laughs> they must have been going crazy to get a no- noise complaint. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, damn. This I is mean, nasty. It's, 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 right, <laughs> it is. <laughs> It's Jimmy. Right. Yo, can Ray- we really talk about her? You guys hear it? <laughs> let's right, let's, let's keep it pushing before we get fired. Yeah, um, fired. Yeah, from fire ourselves. from Smick Seven Seven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I'm pretty sure all of you guys heard it by now. Um, I got mixed emotions about it because I, when I view uh, Rachel Nichols, I'm like, yo, she's she's for the people. She's cool. Like she put a lot of people on, and then everything is heightened right now. Like cancel culture. Like Man, I don't even know what to think about it. But Dale, just tap in. What do you think about that whole Rachel Nichols, uh, Maria Taylor, right? Well, well, all of us are. Uh, I think we. She was cool. She did the jump every time she interviewed people. She seemed cool, calm, collective, etc. And that's it. But when I first heard the video, I had to play it back because if you just listen to that video and take it for what it is, most people would say they understand her or what she's right. saying. But then you have to deep dive in. It's not even about her. It's about who Maria Taylor is. Because if, if she's doing this spiel that she's saying for someone that's up and coming that doesn't have the resume of a Maria Taylor, it makes completely sense of they're trying to just show uh, post a black page of this or a black person just to ease the tension of them diversity in ESPN. But that's not Maria Taylor. That's someone that worked your MBA, college football, baseball. She does whatever mm-hmm. asks for and mm-hmm. has the resume to back her. So if this is her getting a promotion, why she couldn't view it as she deserved that instead of the color of her skin? And that's the only problem. Because if this was a white woman and you have to bring it up, would she, what would she say then with that exact same resume? Mm-hmm. What would be her strike then? Maria Taylor resume speaks for itself. So she could say she loved Maria and she loved this and she loved that. She didn't love her that much to just view her as a person with the resume to do the job she's doing, mm-hmm. but look at her skin first and thinking that they're going that way about it. So that's why Rachel Nichols is nasty. <laughs> she's mm-hmm. nasty for that. Because yeah. she probably was saying it with the intention of she don't mean no harm to Maria. But she didn't mean no harm because in her mind she's thinking, no, ESPN is only giving Maria this job because of the color of her skin. That's not a compliment. Mm-hmm. Like, that's you know crazy. I mean? That's not, yeah, and that's how, I, I don't think everybody view it that way because they just listen to her words. But if you deep dive into who Mar- Maria Taylor is with her whole resume, how she's been bossing a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. She even went on with a great soliloquy against um, 
who was it? Was it Brett Favre? It was some, it was like last year or something during all of this time. Amazing uh, clapback she did to someone to open people's eyes. And that's when I got in tune on how big she is and how many stuff she, she's done. So when this came out, it was like, damn. You know, you know who Rachel Nichols, the vibes that she gives me? And I don't like this lady either. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, the one that had the show with, I think his name was Michael. They were kind of big, actually, like six years ago. The black lady. Um, oh, yeah. You're talking about uh, Jamel Hill? Yeah, yeah. Jamel. Jamel Hill. What? You don't like Jamel? I'm Jamel's nasty. Jamel Hill, though. Jamel's nasty. Well, me too, uh, Dale. Yeah, Why? I'm yeah, I, I know I used to be, but I just feel like, bro, she is too... Bro, she is watch too woke. Her, she is too watch woke. Watch her all the smoke. Watch her all the smoke. She right. she is too woke. I can't even get onto it just because of the the vibes that she gives me. It's like her voice. Her voice is annoying though. I'm not even gonna lie. I anymore. feel like I'm going to church for like ah oh my god. Every time she says <laughs> but something, but no, she's it's cool like, though. She's cool though. Jamel Hill is cool. Tell me she's you're cool a liberal sure. she's cool without though. telling me you're a liberal. Like I get it. Like I'm I'm not a Democrat or Republican or anything like that. But my God, it's every time with her. Every quick time take, with that lady. Quick question: What does liberal mean when people say they're liberal? Because I feel like that's what I am. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> but I never really Google. But I never Google to see what it means. I don't know if this is the crowd to ask that question. It is. The Dude, I don't. Like, Dude, I, no, think no, 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 no. I, I just it. don't know if we'd be able to give the greatest. I mean, you guys might be. I, I mean, it's not going on TikTok, so we aren't going to get killed. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, I don't mean in that sense. I mean to like actually give you a good explanation of what it really entails. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's majority black It's just black very left-leaning, very left-leaning political stance. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> Stay yeah, dangerous at home like I Karen Champion. I Googled it before and I really didn't get it. I wanted someone to simplify all them stupid words for me. Yeah, nobody yeah. nobody like, knows. Bit. All I know is Nichols and Hill, <laughs> two peas in a pod. I would watch that podcast rip each other to shreds. I what's what's What sucks is because... The last few years, I had obviously been following like esports way more closely than sports. So I kind of completely tuned off all sports like shows and whatnot. And then within the last year or two, I started finally getting back into like watching sports shows. And I've been watching the jump those these last few months. And I was like, Rachel Nichols is really good at her job. And then when she's right. doing her interviews, I'm like, wow, she's Control like, the room. she's, she she's the on room the ball. Sure. Yeah, she's just yep. mm -hmm. very good at what she does. And then I hear this come out. I'm like, ah, this sucks. First of all, I was like, okay, it's just a clip. Could this be out of context? And then to your point, Dell, when she discredits somebody who has the resume, who it's like, hey, this is a good person for the job. It's not just checking a box. Right. Then it's like, ah, okay. Like you're completely disregarding her that entire right. resume. Right. The fact right. that she's more than qualified to do it and you just get nasty with it. And it's like, now. I, 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 who I recorded that though? That's and that, I, yeah, that's, I, who recorded that? Smoking that gun? means, where is that? Smoking that means the conversation. Somebody got paid. That means the conversation that before the recorder went on like a few weeks ago or a couple of days ago about how she really feels about a lot of people. Cause if you're about to record somebody, you know, what's coming. You're not just hitting the record Absolutely. button. for one. Unless you guys are just about to record something on an interview and you just cut on right, the camera right, and have it I rolling. You're saying. Right. Right. Whoever got that record on there, like it felt Rachel, edited. You've been saying some nasty stuff. Like <laughs> That's this nasty. is about to be, yeah. Like they you, cleaned you, up they the <laughs> Like, yeah, like, you're good for something. Get, come on, give it here. <laughs> and then after they listen, it's like, there it is. is she how, does that, why, how does that get leaked, though? Like, how do somebody, you... Person somebody, somebody... There it is. Was like, they, she's somebody probably rude. Her, yeah, she's probably she rude. She right. Rachel Nichols gives somebody me... Right. After Paul Pierce got fired, I was off Rachel Nichols. Why? What did, what did she say? How you get right? Because it, it, we know you got him fired. Like I don't want to be up there with this womanizer. She gives me those vibes. <laughs> like, I'm pretty good at vibes. And, she, and then she goes and pulls this stunt, but she doesn't get kicked off of the jump. Which, by the way, I like the jump a little bit. I'm not I like it too. But they did. They 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 they, they suspended they her. Off to, they suspended her from right. the jump, or they can they suspended her from sideline reporting. Sideline NBA but I hate, but I hate but I think, how they just... I don't think she'll be on the jump either, though. I'm, no, no, no. They said, we're gonna, they said we're going to keep... Right, she apologized today. A 30-second 30 30 30 soliloquy. What did she say today? Oh, was it yesterday on the jump? It was, yeah, it was two days ago she apologized on the jump. That wasn't today. 
That, she's on the jump. She's still on the jump. And Kendrick Birkins followed up the soliloquy. She soliloquy for like 30 seconds. Like Maria Taylor, I'm that sorry was two that days ago, you heard though. me. Yeah, but she's still on there, Dale. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They said we're keeping Dude, her on the jump. today. I didn't look today, but they specifically brought up the jump part. She's off as a silent reporter, but we're keeping her on at the jump. So even if she's suspended for a week, it's nasty. Just because she's an attractive Caucasian lady, she gets this slapped on the wrist. This is the same wrist slap I wanted from my man Paul Pierce that he didn't get for strippers and blunts. But I can be racist. What's worse? Strippers and blunts are being racist. I need to know where we draw the line. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Shaq is on a good one today. I just wanted to know. And Boy. somebody, yeah, I, I just wanted to know. Which Should one do I prefer? I think we all prefer one of, over the other, but. Paul is high. All right, I'm done. I'll strippers, go with Scarlet's. Strippers and blue ones. Yo, and shout out Bro. to all the trolls in the chat and on YouTube in the chat. I'm going to stop replying to you guys. I'm sorry I'll to all the loyal fans diamonds. that have to read that. Everybody's mad. So, so Jalen Rose, we're talking about Kevin Love in a uh, Olympics team situation. He says that the only reason why he got the spot is because they didn't want to send an all black squad over there. Like, Dell, do you think is some truth to that, or do you, to your point last week or the week before, he was like, no, they need Kevin Love because he's spaces. That's they do, but. I didn't even look at it. People's mind really goes to weird places because I didn't even notice he was the only black guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, don't, I didn't even notice at all. So, and then, but when you look at the roster, they mm-hmm. need a shooter like Kevin Love to play in Europe. And that's just the honest fact. And I'm looking like, who would they want? They can get Julius Randle. They have something like that already. Who is the other pick and pop shooter they could have take is what I'm saying. It's Carmelo like, it's going? hard. Carl Anthony Towns, does he fit that mold? Like, I'm trying to think who else would they have really get that job to that wasn't Kevin is, Love. I'm really is Carmelo Anthony to... going to the Olympics? No. That's that's shocking. But he <laughs> retired from the Olympics last time. Remember he's like this oh, one he last one? Okay. The one where he that was drawn? 2016 or 17? Uh, Jalen Rose. Jalen <laughs> Jalen Rose saying that is fire. <laughs> OD Heat. I like Jalen Rose a lot. I do too. <laughs> that is so funny. But what, what makes him say that though, Shaq? Like, why does he say um, that? He, he, he's trying to go viral. He's doing hot takes. But no, but I feel like they got their show is like, you know, yeah, dope. no, no. They he's all, do that. He's all, well, do we need to do that? Do you feel like that's what we do? No. Like, yeah. we give our opinions. And, and Sometimes like, we, we cap. <laughs> uh huh. Sometimes. And I feel like, for the most part, we're genuine. And I, and I feel like that was a very genuine statement from Jalen Rose. Yeah, that's his feelings. Like right? he feels how he feels. Uh, JD, what do you think about that? Uh, and to Dell's point, uh, when we talked about this before, also, what I think Dell said this, or maybe someone else said it, and he brought it up. But like, K Love has the experience playing on the, an Olympic team already, right? He played on on uh an olympic team already and has the overseas experience so it's not just it's not just that he fits the Mm -hmm. the type of player that they need to round out the roster it's he's got the overseas experience he understands the type of play uh you know he can go over and not have culture shock whatever it is um, so I, I, I never you. saw an issue with it. I never, like, I didn't even know that he was the only white player either, <laughs> but I, I, I don't, I, I, I never really look at it through that lens. I'm never, right. so, so I would have never even yeah. been like, Oh, first wow. off, first off, Isaiah Harris wants us to go back to talking about Rachel Nichols, which I'm I, here for 100%. Um, I, since I, he missed I, it. I he mi- <laughs> yeah, he missed it. He missed it. He barely missed it. <laughs> Yo, Isaiah, you're going to have to go scrub that one on a YouTube video and uh, find that one. It was actually a nice little topic. Um, Here, I'll but, give you a recap. Jimmy Butler, Rachel uh-huh. Nichols. Dribbling basketballs. <laughs> Dribbling basketball. Yo, no, the interview where she looked up at him, too, was also kind of wild. She looked up at him, and it that, was that look that, like. <laughs> that, the, the little pictures where they took the screenshots. And yeah, it. yeah. And, and Jimmy was acting I'm funny. Good. Now that I watched it back, I've been in that type of situation before. And Jimmy yeah, was oh, acting yeah, super whoa, funny. 
Yeah, like funny like how, Shaq? Like, you know when you're around somebody, but people don't really know that y'all hooking up or doing something, and it's just like, yeah. you got to kind of act cool, but you still want to flirt a little bit? Right. Yeah. And That's it's how, like, that hey, was that vibe. That was that, was that, was, that, was that vibe. Little in, it's a little inside secret, you know? Which is cool. And so they're talking with their eyes. <laughs> talking with their eyes. They were for sure talking with that. Jimmy looked up like, you know, shit, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> like Jimmy. Hey, you know what happened. You know yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah. And Jimmy, Jimmy's one of the guys that can swing that. That is mean? so funny. Like if I'm picking a guy in the bubble to swing that, like the black guy that was raised a cowboy, Nichols is going for that. <laughs> Wait, he was actually raised as a cowboy? He, he was adopted into a wealthy, um, a wealthy family. And he like had horses on the on the establishment. Like God, his parents are white. So fire. His adopted parents. I are did white. not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice little tidbit. Yeah, yeah. No, he he had a crazy Jordan's about to go I don't know do research. Was, I don't know. I don't know if they was wealthy, but they could have been. It's from Tornable, Tor Texas. Uh, yeah. Okay. I might. Yeah. I might be going yeah. a little bit crazy on that tip, but I thought yeah. it was something like cows on the or horses on the. Right. It was. Stable. It was crazy place he grew up in. It's a. It's a. Uh, it's a basketball blind side a little bit, a little one two. Yeah, oh, <laughs> basketball blind side. I love. That. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. it's a little basketball blind side. Blind side, side underrated movie. And not underrated. Sandra is fire. Not underrated, not underrated at all. She won an Oscar from it. Yeah, yeah that's fire. Underrated. Sandra, like fire. underrated actor. Bullock. Not underrated at all. That actress. I know, but either. amazing yeah. actress though. I she's don't think she underrated. has Hillary Swank, but she's an amazing actor. I actually think she has Hillary Swank. <laughs> oh my God, Hillary Swank and Freedom Riders. I just watched it for the second time in like which the last is six good. Months. But Dale, I think you're right. It's, Sandra's back. It's Sandy's good, back. But yeah, no, I can give I, you that. Thought, is Hillary Million Dollar Baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. You Queen should have said that one before Freedom Riders. I love Freedom Riders. <laughs> I love Freedom Riders. But Million Dollar Baby, I forgot about that. I hate watching that movie. Yeah, it's too right. sad. It's too That's sad. Right. But Hillary, yeah, she's not Sandra though. Sandra is different, boy. Sandra, the, Miss Congeniality was unbelievable. That whole At, era, the first was one, nuts. yeah, that whole little, that whole little <laughs> yeah. one too. Speed coming that, on the scene. Speed, yo, I hate little. what Speed did to the sequels. I hate Speed for that. And the third one was on a boat. <laughs> I think I'm like, you guys are nasty. how fast? <laughs> Sound like we should get back to uh, beat the Dell and J Awards. Yeah, you know, so I would have just won. Yo, listen, do you guys want to hit a soliloquy about why we had to cut Beat the Dell and the J Awards? Sure. Do you guys want to hear the stats it. behind it? or Dale, this is usually where you say no yeah. and we just move on. No, I want to hear it. <laughs> no, <laughs> so I just really want to nobody, see why we... Uh... Let, me, let me tell you why, because nobody in here wait, right what's now... What's the word? Who was around nobody for Beat the Dell in here? Who was around for Beat the Dell and who was around for the J Awards in the chat right now? Does anybody recall any of those segments? They were fun. They were. We'll wait for the chat to reply. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in here, probably. But continue. I want to hear. The the architect or the owner of both would like to hear why he was uh, discontinued. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. And now the chat is going crazy over Freedom Riders. It was an amazing movie. Um, <laughs> great story. But anyways, um, it just had to go, man. Uh, just time-wise... It wasn't working out. Um, it was a lot of work it that especially out. went into the production side on Beat the Dell. It was unbelievable. You, my guy, yeah, my assistant, it was killing him. Um, the J Awards, <laughs> I think that one just kind of did itself in. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Dang, um, no love for the J Awards? No, we all love the J Awards. It's just the, the vintage. The J Awards was going to split up the band. Yeah, if it, yeah we had to change it to the bought? chat. <laughs> the J Awards was going to split up the band. Yeah, like, like if you buck. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. It was that that was, the J Awards was tough, but one day we're gonna bring them both back. Oh, I wanted to play actually play heads up with you today, to Dale. I forgot at the beginning of the show. We'll play on Sunday. Okay. I hope Kawhi pops up. Just say that one dumb right. guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be like the guy with the braids. Yeah, the <laughs> Robot. Just say Robot. top ten. All right. I'm I'm off him. I'm off him. Um. Yeah. Moving along. Are we going trade rumors or rankings? Um, we have, yeah, we haven't ranked. Um, the, tonight we got to cut the, 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 the pod short because um, the beloved Cruz and Jordan 
has a dinner date that he forgot about. Cruz, I hope you're not watching. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. Did away. Shaq just pull a J? Never. <laughs> yeah, like it's levels <laughs> to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I intentionally she, did she mine. Know, she, right, exactly. And she know he didn't forget to come in here flashing her bling before the show as happy as true. a kite. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. We actually didn't get to talk about how happy Cruz was that day. That evening when when what? our beloved Jordan proposed to her, Kimba to the Lakers. Dope. How were you nervous? So I was completely fine the whole time, and then they're like, "She's here," and then I started like, "I'm like, ah, oh, shit." <laughs> started shaking a little bit. How long were you on the chill. phone before she walked in? Saw you on the knees. Um. So she came in, and then when she came over to me, like I said a few words, and then I did it. So from when she walked in to down on the knee it was probably like two minutes oh okay so she didn't walk in and you were already down there no 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 no, no yeah <laughs> i have the video i should send you guys the video you that should. would be I nice did I, I send you guys mine right yeah, yeah, yeah it yours. was it was like a six minute video we just have i have to save this uh trimmed version and for some reason it keeps not saving it so i'll just have her send it to me again right, right. yo yours is nice so thanks i was yeah yours is great profusely yeah. Here is what sweating profusely. The color scheme in Dell's video is amazing. The whole production team behind it, whoever was holding that camera, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's <laughs> very really thoughtful. Video. Amazing nice. video. Um, we can go. Ooh, we nice. can go. Trade rumors and end on on rankings. Top five. Yeah. Rankings. Yeah. Facts. Cool. Yeah, I want to hear trade rumors. I haven't seen nothing yet on the trade rumors, so this would be good. Very excited for me, also. Uh, let's go. Anthony Davis for uh, Dame. Dale, how do you not, feel about not, that? Not happening. Yeah? Not happening. That's it just won't work with LeBron or what? No, no LeBron could play but... with both of them, but I think just AD being only 27, 28, the age, the full healthy AD, what he what he brings, it's not happening. If, if, the, if the Lakers again, Dame, AD is not in the trade. That would negate the purpose of getting a dame because a dame and lebron is not it you know what i'm saying just that <laughs> yeah that's nasty. not it that's <laughs> lebron can't carry all that man come on i'm sure dame could try but it's like we all see lebron kind of transitioning and phasing out and that's fine like i was talking to my therapist and we all have to be okay with the <laughs> fact that lebron is not going to be on top of that mountain for too much longer and it's going to be my guy kd Wow. No, nobody can touch KD. Like nobody can touch KD after LeBron leaves. What does that Yeah, he'll be on he'll be on top of the mountain for sure. Next next trade rumor. Don't even want to dive dive into Slim. That, yeah, that's a nasty <laughs> trade. That that feels awkward. So Seventy Sixers could make a, a a deal for Kyrie, Bradley, Bill, or Dame Lillard, JD. Is this like real or what do you think about that? Oh boy. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't mind to see either of those players on the Sixers. I think that all three of them would help significantly more than Ben Simmons has been. You know, that's not I don't, what he but, asked but you. I don't, I, don't, I don't see the Nets getting rid of Kyrie right now. Because the last time we talked about this, and I was like, oh, they're going to have to deal with Kyrie. Dell was like, no way. He's not leaving. Harden's not leaving. Katie's not leaving. And he but would I know. Could, I could see a Bradley Beal or, or Lillard, but I just don't know why you would want to get rid of Beal, send him to the Sixers. Like, who are you going to get? You're going to get Ben Simmons and some trade picks. Like, you you act like Ben Simmons is trash, which is funny. That's why <laughs> that's why nobody can get but their I, hands on him Bradley right now. Beal's, Bradley Beal's better. Bradley Beal's better than Kawhi. No. Why isn't he? No. Why oh isn't he? God. Okay. Why isn't he? Tell me why he isn't. I need to hear it right now. Every time a Kawhi fan, I'm going to just bring up 21 points. He averaged 24 this year. Bradley Bill averaged more than that. Why isn't he better? Tell me why. He averaged more points. Chuck, Chuck, let me ask you a question. I hate Ready? Kawhi now. You do, but let me ask you a question. Who's better, Kawhi Leonard or Jason Tatum? Oh, uh, <laughs> man. That is so fire. <laughs> that is so fire. Because the only thing is, like, 
you know how I felt about Kawhi for all these years, but now they have turned me against him. Those thousands of TikToks minions. Um, I'm gonna plead the fifth. It's Kawhi though, and Kawhi's better than Bradley Bill too. Okay. <laughs> ben Simmons. Okay. Speaking of uh, Ben Simmons, uh, for De'Aaron Fox, um, would y'all make that trade or what? I, I love De'Aaron Fox. I love De'Aaron Fox. I love De'Aaron Fox. That's what makes this so that, nasty. That's not a ba- wow. I mean, imagine De'Aaron Fox playing how he played with his Doc Rivers on that team. <laughs> They'll probably be better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even with a, nasty to be right he's now. He's nasty. <laughs> He's like Tory Lanez wow. after he shot Meg Thee Stallion, allegedly. <laughs> what? Not really, because he needs to. He didn't come out with that album yet. So unless next year that's is that also album, true. Love. That's, that's also true. Tory Lanez, right. amazing Tory follow-up Lanez album. With, yeah, he Speaking came some out truth, with some but heat. but Ben, it's just like so. nobody wants to touch you right now. You're nasty in everybody's eyes. Anybody seeing you shoot a three, it's like, oh my god, it's like an eclipse. I hate that you right. turned into this guy, bro. And it's literally only because of his shooting woes and that he can't hit free throws. Like other than that, he's a good basketball player. The free throws yeah, blow sure. the my throws mind. Nasty, where this just came out of nowhere to just rear its ugly head, and then the Suns counting down for Giannis, and he makes two for two yesterday. I was happy to see that. Yeah. Who's next mm. on the block? K Love to the Nets if bought out. Does he wants his he no? wants his Bron but I think that's for sure happening. That he wants is his Bron vengeance. Kyrie it's just, got his. It's just bro- a matter. It's just a matter of the moment when that would, one happen. Would Blake be there too? No, no Blake he's is going, going to LA. To the Bucks or the Lakers. The Lakers. If I'm the Lakers, I want PJ Tucker. And I wanted Gosh. Demar Derozan. I saw I think that rumor. Good for you guys. I think Demar is good for you guys. I saw that. And or Spencer you, Dinwiddie. You you free up LeBron and Spencer is good for you guys too. Yeah, I love it. Schroeder can kick rocks. I'm taking Dinwiddie over Schroeder, but I wouldn't be mad at bringing Schroeder back. I I'm keep saying that, but I don't Schroeder believe too. that. I want Schroeder gone, <laughs> but I keep saying on every episode, yo, Schroeder's nice. I would Schroeder's nice. I wouldn't mind having him back. I would really mind it. I don't want him back in L.A. at all. I think it depends who you get for him, but yeah, it would be. I don't. I mind want Kimba Schroeder over. I want Kimba better. over him. That's the thing. I would. Take I want Kimba, a of lot of players over him. What if Kawhi went to? Let's LA? end the show with the uh, predictions. Uh, who do you guys have in the Suns Buck series? No, we have to do the rankings first, please. For sure. Can we do okay. the predictions first and then end on the rankings? Yep. <laughs> I got Sun, Suns in five. Yep, I do too. Suns and Bucks and six. I got Gosh, Suns and six. What am I six. saying? Oh man, I just feel like the Suns are gonna win, but I want to say the Bucks so bad. But after watching that no, game last that's... night, if the Suns can handle them with Giannis, I couldn't have even imagined what they would have to do if Giannis was out. I feel like they would Suns play better. Five. I think the Bucks would have played better without Giannis. Yeah, because me too. Because you negate you you negate a different aspect of Bobby Portis and just mm-hmm, using the mm-hmm, bench more mm-hmm. and simplifying minutes. So, Giannis, the defense just shifts more to letting him do what he wants, and we stop everybody else. I just feel like the Bucks cream them next game tomorrow. I feel like they slap cream, them no, around tomorrow. I don't think the Bucks smack them any game. Probably get unless it's game four. Because this is what I think happens. I think they lose three in a row, and then they lose game four, and then win game five. If the if the Bucks win any game, it's going to be a close game, like within a couple points. Yeah. I just feel like Giannis had to get that like dog, like okay, I can play injured, but I literally have to break my knee, or we have no chance. He didn't even look injured last night. Or I mean, he not, looked not hesitant. The first he looked not hesitant. He looked hesitant. A little bit. Not well, coming the out first, the gates. On, they threw him in the alley oop the first right. play. His motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sec, but second half, he was like his motions were like my knee. Maybe the, the time off. You know, the halftime for sure. Chilling, looking in the bud, looking at his brother. Just why are you so annoying? Maybe all that present. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the leg leg could get tired too. Maybe not necessarily like hurt, but tired. Right. 
Yo, right. Dale, did we ever talk about Giannis's little brother signing to my team this year? Yeah, you told us you broke. So is that finish. done deal or is that still verbal? That's a done deal. Four years. Same. Let's let's move on to the next topic, please. Before <laughs> somebody says something. Rank. Let's go. Rank these. You Luka want me to take five. it away, Jay? So we got we got Luca, Steph, Kawhi, Giannis, and Anthony Davis. Okay. Costas. I think that's the brother's name, Costas. Drew, Drew Holiday top drew five, last night. Every, <laughs> top five, everybody's healthy. Read the comments. Um. Yeah, I gotta go AD. I think AD first. Top five, everybody healthy. I go Anthony Davis, Steph, Luca, Kawhi, and then Greek. That's tough. That's so no, tough. No, no, no. I have Giannis last, also. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> go go ahead, JD. You, you guys are I got, mad. I got Steph, Luca, Kawhi, AD, Giannis. AD that low? I'm just not sold on AD. I don't love AD. I don't love AD. I but like him. Lo- but you love Kawhi for whatever reason because yeah, he I averages guess I love 20. Kawhi now, because yeah. he averages <laughs> because he averages 24 points, which Big is Kawhi good guy. for like 16th in the league. But he's top 10. And he plays yeah. this imaginary defense. Who does he lock up? You don't know. You just see Those him get steals lanes. on. Yeah, you see him get steals on YouTube and on ESPN in the mornings while you're drinking your cup of who, Joe. Who do you have, Shaq? So oh, nasty as Kawhi stuff. Um, first, I'm going Steph, like unanimously. Steph is first. AD is second. Lucas third. Giannis, then Kawhi. Yeah. I have to stay consistent. <laughs> Do you know? I have to. Isaiah Harris, Steph, AD, Kawhi, Giannis, Luka. Kawhi's not better than that. How is Kawhi better than Luka Doncic? Oh, Luka that, towards yeah. Kawhi. Luka last, yeah. Luka last is wild. Yeah. Giannis last is I wild. I mean, it's not really wild. Ranking these five and any five is not... You could kind of put them wherever, but I feel like Steph's got to be in the top three in this list. I don't see how yeah, Steph's not number one. It has sure. to be in the top three. And then Kawhi, AD, Giannis, whatever. Do whatever with them. I don't care. Right. Yeah. That's, I, I still feel like Anthony Davis is second. <sighs> come say goodnight to the show. <laughs> Since you're feeling to come in here. Good night. What up? What up? Here. Good night. Good night, brother man. <laughs> Buenas noches. Hey, how's that Mario Kart coming along? They, they could hear you. They're asking you about Mario Kart. In Roblox. What are they playing? They're playing Roblox and Mario Kart. Which one you like better, Roblox or Mario Kart? Roblox and Mario Kart. Which one is better? Roblox. <laughs> like, it's not even close. <laughs> but Roblox is you like unbelievable. It, you like Roblox more than Mario Kart, gentlemen? Uh, yes. I don't know. It's amazing, don't know. Because it's an amazing who he, place. Who does he race with, though? Who's his character? It's like 50 of who's, them. Who's your character no, no, on Roblox? Uh, yeah, no, not Roblox. Sorry. Uh, Mario Kart. You said they have one. Who's your favorite character on Mario Kart? And who's, who's daddy's favorite? Toad. <laughs> who's Mimi's favorite? <laughs> Yoshi. Oh, okay. Get out of here. I'm coming. No, no you're using <laughs> Toad is nasty. You're supposed to get Baby Go Bowser. Ahead. Get who? Baby Bowser. No, I'm playing the original Mario Kart. There's no Baby Bowser. It's just the pops oh, in this okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Baby Bowser. It's just the pops. Yo, if you're here at the end of the show, please like and subscribe. I forgot to put that in the front I'll because like I'm ashamed. Boy. See y'all Sunday. Peace out, Dale. Yo, have a good dinner, uh, uh, Cruz. Jordan, you're <laughs> a terrible oh, one. Oh, Cruz has been playing well, 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 well. Sorry.